billions of dollars were just approved for gun violence prevention. The investment expands California's landmark red flag law that allows law enforcement to remove firearms from potentially dangerous situations. CBS 8's Jenny Day joins us live from the courthouse with what you can do to help keep our communities safe. Jenny. Yeah, remember post 9-11, if you see something, say something. Well, this too is all about paying attention to what's happening around you and reporting it if something just doesn't feel quite right. Our city is safer because of it. California's red flag law went into effect in 2016. Supporters say it has saved countless lives. More than 1,500 deadly weapons have been removed from dangerous situations in just the past five years. It allows any one of us to ask the courts to temporarily have firearms taken from someone in crisis who may be a threat to themselves or others. It can also temporarily stop them from purchasing a new weapon. Your request after calling police or filing paperwork at the courthouse can be approved within an hour. In today's world, where our national news is often about mass shootings, it has become such an all too common experience. This is a local government taking action to save lives. The majority of cases involve domestic violence or thoughts of suicide, but it was also just used following a school shooting threat at Rancho Bernardo High School. A gun violence restraining order was issued against the minor. When a search warrant was served, they found unregistered firearms ghost gun supplies and explosives. An unspeakable tragedy may have been prevented because high school students spoke up and SPD, SDPD quickly responded. With its success, Assembly Member Brian Mainshine just secured $2.2 million to further fund San Diego's gun violence prevention unit at the city attorney's office. They will help train and provide red flag resources to other local cities. I have also introduced two new bills this year that strengthens protections against people who pose a significant risk of harm and close loopholes in our firearms laws. And I get it. Sometimes we don't want to be nosy. We don't want to get too involved. But really, police tell me that no tip is too small and they would rather investigate it to ensure that there are no future tragedies. We are live tonight from downtown Jenny Day, CBS 8. Jenny, this remains controversial. Gun rights activists argue that this law violates due process. Tell us a little bit more about who approves these petitions and how long they last. Yes, yeah, so it is a judge. It's a judge who uh, grants these uh, gun violence prevention or restraining orders. And then I'm told that every petition is really thoroughly investigated to indeed make sure that they are posing an extreme risk. And their guns then could be taken away anywhere from uh, 21 days to up to five years. Marcella, back to you. All right. Thanks so much. Appreciate it.